Welcome back to the second part of our Node.js Scrub tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will delve into inserting data into a MySQL database by using Bootstrap 5 off canvas for a sleek user experience. Adding new data to your database is a key aspect of any CRUD application. We will guide you through creating an intuitive interface by using Bootstrap 5 off canvas components, allowing users to enter data effortlessly. Now let's start discussing this topic. So first we have goes to form.html file. And here we have to create an add button for insert new data. So here we have to write button tag. With class is equal to button, button primary, button small, and float end class of bootstrap 5 library. And in button text, we have to write add, so it will make data add button. So when we have click on this button, then bootstrap 5 off canvas has been toggled from sidebar with add form data. Now we want to set up the HTML structure for the bootstrap off canvas. So here we have to write division tag with class is equal to off canvas and off canvas end. Here this off canvas class will create the off canvas sidebar. And this off canvas end class is to define position of the off canvas to right side. After this, we have to write tab index attribute is equal to minus one. Next we have to write id attribute is equal to off canvas component which we will use in JavaScript code. Under this tag, we have to create one another division tag with class is equal to off canvas header. This off canvas header details has to be defined under this tag. So under this tag, we have to write header 5 tag with class equal to off canvas title. This off canvas title class ensures the proper margins and line height. And for dynamic title, here we have to write id attribute is equal to off canvas label. And in in text, we have to write add data and now for make close button. So here we have to write button tag with type is equal to button. And class is equal to button close class. After this, we have to write data BS dismiss attribute is equal to off canvas. An aria label attribute is equal to close, so this will close off canvas close button. After this, here we have create one division tag with class is equal to off canvas body. So under this off canvas body class, we can add our content inside this division tag. So here our off canvas HTML code is ready. Now we have moved to JavaScript code for off canvas interaction. So here we have create one off canvas variable and this variable we will use for show and hide off canvas. After this we have to create another off canvas body variable. And here we have to write document dot query selector method with off canvas body class. Next we have to create off canvas component variable is equal to. document dot query selector method with off canvas component id and below this we have to create another off canvas label variable is equal to document dot query selector method with it of off canvas label so here we have create require variable now we have to write off canvas variable is equal to new bootstrap dot off canvas method and under this we have to write off canvas component variable so here we have create an off canvas instance with the constructor now we have create one add data function and under this function we have to write off canvas dot show method so it will display 
of canvas component on web page. Now we want to call this function. So here in add button code, we have to write on click attribute is equal to add data function. So when we have click on this button, then it will call add data function, which will toggle off canvas. So here we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page. Here we can see that add button has been appear on web page. Now we have click on this button. So here we can see that off canvas sidebar has been toggled. Now under this sidebar, we want to make form for add data. So here we have create make form function with blank id name email variable and action variable with insert as value. Under this function, we have to create one output variable. Now for add name data, so here we have to write input type is equal to text. Name attribute is equal to name and id attribute is equal to name and class is equal to form control. After this, we have to write value attribute is equal to dollar with open and close bracket. And between this, we have to write name. So it will set the value of this text box if we have defined. Same way for add email details. So here we have to write input type is equal to email. Name attribute is equal to email. It attribute is equal to email and class is equal to form control. After this, we have to write value attribute is equal to dollar sign with open and close bracket. And between this, we have to write email variable. So it will set value of this text box if we have defined. After this, for store action variable value. So here we have to write input type is equal to hidden. With name attribute is equal to action id attribute is equal to action. And after this, we have to write value attribute is equal to dollar sign with open and close bracket. And between this, we have to write action variable. So it will set this variable value under this hidden field. After this, we want to store id variable value in hidden field. So here we have to write input type is equal to hidden. With name attribute is equal to id and id attribute is equal to id. And after this, we have to write value attribute is equal to dollar sign with open and close bracket. And between this, we have to write id variable. So it will set this variable value under this hidden field. Lastly, we want to make submit button. So here we have to write input type is equal to submit. And here we have to write class attribute is equal to button, button primary class. After this, we have to write value attribute is equal to dollar sign with open and close bracket. And between this, we have to write action variable. So it will display value of this variable on button text. Next under this function, we have to write return statement with output variable, which is an output of this function. Now we have goes to add data function and here we have to write of canvas body variable dot in a HTML property is equal to make form function. So it will display form under off canvas sidebar. Now here we have to refresh web page and after fresh of web page here we can see add button. So we have click on this button and after click on this button here we can see that off canvas sidebar has been toggled. And under this, we can see add data form with submit button. And now we have process for submit form data. So here we have create one submit form data function and under this function. First, we have to write id variable is equal to document dot query selector method. 
And under this method, we have to write input field id, and after this, we have to write value property. So here, we have store this id input field value under this id variable. Next, we have to write name variable is equal to document dot query selector method. And under this method, we have to write input field id name, and after this, we have to write value property. So here, we have store this name id input field value under this local name variable. Below this, we have to write email variable is equal to document dot query selector method. And under this method, we have to write input field id attribute value email, and after this, we have to write value property. So here, we have store this email id input field value under this local email variable. In next line, we have to write action variable is equal to document dot query selector method. And under this method, we have to write input field id attribute value action, and after this. We have to write value property. So here we have store this action id input field value under this local action variable. So here we have store this action id input field value under this local action variable. So in first option we have to write URL which is set to slash submit data root. In second option we have to write method and here we have use post method. For send data to server. In third option, we have to write data, and under this, we have to define which data we want sent to server. In fourth option, we have to write data type, and we have defined JSON data type, so it will receive data from server in JSON format. And in last option, we have to write success callback function. So this function will be called if it has received data from server. Under this function, first we want to refresh data tables data. So here we have to write dollar with table ID sample data with data table method, and after this we have to write ajax dot reload method. So this code will refresh data tables data without refresh of web page. After this, we want to hide off canvas sidebar. So here we have to write off canvas dot hide method. And lastly, we want to pop up success message. So here we have to write alert with data dot message. Now we want to call this function when we have click on submit button. So here in submit button code, we have to write on click attribute is equal to. Submit form function. So when we have click on submit button, then this function will be called. Now we have goes to server dot JavaScript file, and here we have to to make root for handle database CRUD operation. So here we have to write app dot post method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write slash submit data URL, and in second parameter, we have to write Call back function with two argument like request and response variable. Under this call back function, first we want to store form data in local variable. So here we have to write id variable is equal to request dot body dot id variable. After this, we have to write name variable is equal to request dot body dot name variable. In below line, we have to write email variable is equal to request dot body dot email variable. And for store action data, here we have to write action variable is equal to request dot body dot action variable. After this, we have create query variable, data variable, and message variable. Now we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write action variable value is equal to insert. If this condition is true, then it will execute if block of code. 
and under this we have to write query variable is equal to insert into user table with table column like name and email and values with placeholder below this we have to write data variable is equal to name variable comma email variable in an array format and after this we have to write message variable is equal to data has been inserted now we want to execute insert query so here we have to write connect dot query method with three parameter in first parameter we have to write query variable in second parameter we have to write data variable and in third parameter we have to write callback function with two argument like error and result variable under this callback function we have to write response dot json method and under this we have to write message key and in value we have to write message variable so it will send data to ajax request in json format so here our code is ready now here in terminal we have to run this command for start node server and in browser first we have to refresh web page and after refresh of web page here we have click on add button and after click on the add button here we can see that off canvas sidebar has been toggled and under this we can see add data form so now we have one by one fill this input field with data and now we have click on this button so after click on this button here we can see that success message has been pop up on web page with ok button and after click on the ok button here we can see that off canvas sidebar has been removed from web page and here we can see that in data tables we can see last inserted data also so this way we can add or insert data into my sql table by using bootstrap 5 off canvas sidebar in the node js without refresh of web page this is because here we have used ajax in next part we will show you how to edit or update my sql data under this node crud application by using bootstrap 5 off canvas